I didn't have any desire to be a lawyer or a doctor or any of that shit. But I knew that if I was going to pursue a life uh, on the fringe, music uh, and the violin was going to be like an avenue. I feel lucky to have been growing up in that kind of environment, you know. It was 50% creation, 20% just the insanity of living with seven people in a very small house with very limited amount of money. My whole family um, plays instruments and also makes art. It's what we were inclined to do, that's what we were taught to do. We, it's not like we had like a bunch of video games. I didn't realize we were having such an alternative upbringing. And I would just spend every night just inside in my own little world, playing these instruments, writing these little crazy scenarios, singing them out, and just having the time of my life. You might be talented, but you don't always want to show it off or, or, or accept it. I had decided to take ownership in about ninth grade. I knew it was my only way out of that. My process is as erratic and unpredictable as I am. I, it's like a canvas. I don't pre-think. And I just kind of drink a lot of coffee and dance around and just start saying shit just to other people's music. Like in response, I'm like, wait, that could be a song, you know? Like, I just kind of play with it. I just, I like to feel a certain way. Yeah, I let the, the moment be my muse and, and, and suddenly a weird lyric would flash in my head. I'm like, oh, that's cool. Here are, some of these are songs that I have to sing for commercials, but the majority of this mess is all of my lyrics from the duration of my life in this apartment. There's never time to lick your wounds. Maybe it's me, not you. Maybe it's me, not you. Get the wire cutters and burn the pads. Sometimes just get in the studio and, and see what happens. Most of the stuff I play on the keys is me just fumbling around until I find something that sounds cool. Sometimes I just pick up the guitar and strum and see what comes out of my mouth. And other times I, I have a lyric and I just build upon it and I don't apply any music to it and I let it develop. Once it gets there where I could hear it, I see, I, I figure out accordingly how to get it down and I, you know, sometimes it's just a beat, a melody. Then I, I, I kind of learn my own song, like even if I have the lyrics written and, and all the chords are there, I, I, I learn it, I sit with it, I, I sing it, I practice it, I, I layer it. Um, and then I just start overdubbing like crazy. And then I weed the garden. Just take all that excess shit out. It's a never ending process. At a certain point, you have to just say, it's done. Yeah. It's done. Walk away. Put the gun down. <laughs> well, I started to, uh, you know, do sessions, tons of sessions as um, a singer for like commercial stuff. Now there's no such thing as bad lighting. I started Revlon. to write for specific scenes in movies. I started to write for commercials. But sometimes the shit that you have to do is this. I'm paying rent and I'm able to, you know, have my own studio and create music <laughs> and not live with a roommate. And you know what? The other day I was like, yo, you realize you're living your dream. When you write that song that you feel good about and you just came up with a lyric and you can't wait to get back and explore, 
that's like, that's where you want to be. Absolutely. And that's the only place you want to be. You realize, I'm here. There is no destination. There is no pot of gold. There is no big award. That's where you want to be as an artist. Inspired.